participating team is Team Deluxe Asia and in which participants are Shambhavi, Adya, Harsh, Ashish, Palak, Divina, Anwar and Arab. So let's see. The play deals with a theme that parents are over possessive about their child. They want to inculcate all the good habits in their child. But they forgot that no child learn all the things in just one day. Amanda is a young girl who is constantly insulted by her parents, siblings for the various mistakes she commits every day. As a child, she feels depressed and sorrowful. In order to escape from the daily ill treatment, she decided and imagined herself to be alone and enjoying. Let's see what happened with her. Don't bite your nails, Amanda! Don't hurt your shoulder, Amanda! Stop slouching and sit up straight, Amanda! There is a languid emerald sea where the sole inhabitant is me, a mermaid drifting blissfully. Here, Amanda is imagining from the escape from her family for the daily taunt and scolding by her family. She imagined if there was a languid and immigrant sea where she as a mermaid, as a mermaid she want to live alone in the sea. Don't bite your nails, Amanda. Did you tie your room, Amanda? Told you to clean your shoes, Amanda. Just look at your surrounding. How untidy it is. If I'm an author roaming the streets, I pattern soft dust with my hushed bare feet. The silence is golden. The freedom is sweet. Here, Amanda imagined if she was an orphan roaming around the street, she was free to do anything. Don't eat that chocolate, Amanda. Remember your acne, Amanda. Amanda, will you please look at me when I when I am talking to you, Amanda? Amanda, I am talking to you. I am a pencil. I have not a care. Life in a tar is tranquil and rare. I'll certainly never, never, never let down my pride here. After Amanda is quoted by his family members, Amanda imagines herself as a punzer. She thinks that the life in tower is very calm and quiet, and she never let down his pride here to fall off, to come anyone to disturb her. Stop slouching and sit up straight, Amanda. You are always so moody, Amanda. Anyone would think that I napped at you, Amanda. It's enough, Mom. So the act ends, and Amanda is irritated and tired of listening to taunts of his family members. The upbringing is a very important personality of a person. When we criticize, criticize or admire anyone, we think about the person's upbringing. In this act, the in this act, the Amanda is very upset by his family members taunts, and it is a moral value and moral value to insist to the the good values of parents to of to a child. Amanda imagines a, a imagination a word of mermaid, a Rapunzel, and an orphan. And our act also tells about that that the parents should also give freedom to the children. Uh, our act not only give moral to the children but also to the parents. Thank you.